Now to the big outrage. A lot of kids in this country are being over-medicated. One was recently over-medicated to death, and now her parents in Massachusetts are charged with first-degree murder. Did they kill her, or did her doctor? Big story correspondent Douglas Kennedy has been investigating this disturbing case. Douglas. Yeah, John, and we're talking about a four-year-old toddler here who, at two and a half years old, was prescribed antipsychotic medication. There are some, and the most, these are some of the most powerful psychiatric drugs on the planet. Her parents were arrested, but someone, her doctor, arrested as well. A cherub-faced four-year-old, dead of a drug overdose. At first, police focused on her parents, arresting them for neglect. But some say the real outrage is being reserved for the girl's psychiatrist, who prescribed a powerful psychiatric cocktail since she was less than two and a half years old. Uh, the board will now entertain a motion in the Kifuji matter. Tufts University psychiatrist Dr. Kayoko Kifuji has administrative leave. She met little Rebecca two years ago. And after a short examination, the supposed caregiver prescribed the 28-month-old toddler drugs, eventually recommending three extremely powerful medications, including clonidine for ADHD and Depakote and Seroquel for bipolar disorder. You're really robbing that child's right to be when they're on these three powerful drugs, and especially on an antipsychotic. Bob Whitaker has written a book on psychiatrists over-prescribing medications. He says this case is particularly unnerving. You're saying to that child, that, you know, they, they don't have a right to feel the world, to fully experience the world. That it's, and there's no medical reason for it. This child did not have schizophrenia. This child did not have psychotic delusions. So the medical rationale for using these powerful drugs, it doesn't exist here. Still, it is not as unusual as you would think. Nationwide, the number of children taking antipsychotics for bipolar disorder increased 74% between 2000 and 2005 to an estimated two and a half million children. They have a terrible side effect profile. They affect heart, they affect the respiratory system, they affect the capacity to feel the world, to move about the world. Long-term brain damage is associated with some of these drugs. And Medicaid records in the state of Florida also tell the story. In 2000, only 9,500 Medicaid kids were prescribed psychotropic drugs. Five years later, records show 60,000 Medicaid kids being drugged, a 528% increase. And shockingly, almost 5,000 of those kids were under the age of six. And, John, that is just one state in the country. Unbelievable. Douglas Kennedy, Douglas, thank you. Appreciate it.